thank you. Really interesting. You know, when you map your the vulnerability from mm -hmm. people, uh, you see that people living in remote areas are much more vulnerable. And you try considering the potential for delocalization of economic activity and how that would impact uh, the vulnerability of these people. Or? Yeah, um, I'd love to look at that, and I think that's a, that's kind of what it comes down to, really. Is I think the reason, like the the distance that people travel to work, has in tended to increase over time due to the um, kind of specialisation of labour forces and stuff. So um, people are just going further because there's more specialised jobs. What if you could turn that around and say, OK, we're actually going to create more regional economies and create work for many different types of people in the region rather than, say, everyone having to commute to London and then go back home every day. Why not have a place in your local region where you can do that? And I think that's a really interesting possibility, and that's actually one of the scenarios that I'd like to look at for, for future change. So, because we've got, because um, we know what people are doing, what sectors they're involved in, you could take hypothetical um, examples. So, say a certain sector becomes more um, locally based, um, look at the impact on that and, and stuff like that, and take that forward. So, I think that's a really good point, and I'd like to look into it. It's just difficult to create realistic scenarios of the future. That's where, that's where it becomes a modelling problem. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a really interesting, uh, really interesting scenario. Any other questions? Just, yeah, the, the, just following up on that one, didn't you say there had been some recent reduction in the average? Yeah, um, well there's, there's a paper out that's, um, it's called Peak Travel, basically. That, that's, the, that's the punchline of it. And it takes data from eight OECD countries and takes recent data on, um, on uh, vehicle kilometres travelled across these kind of advanced Western um, democracies and shows that since the, since, certainly since the oil shock of summer 2008, the actual number of, uh, the actual distance has started to decline. And that, follow through on the statistics that I'm looking at, the most up-to-date ones, like 2011, show that. So whether that's going to continue, or as Dex say, just going to con continue like as a constant plateau, we'll see. My, my money is that we're actually going to start seeing shifts in behaviour and people travelling less. And I'd like to emphasise that's vehicle kilometres, so people might be car sharing more, there might be more efficient use of uh, buses and stuff. But I'm, I'm pretty certain there's going to be declines in energy use for transport um, in, in wealthy countries because we waste so much of it. And I see that as, a, as a definitely a good thing. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, next talk from oil power to pedal power.